Hey. 50,000 likes, I'm going to the G League tryout. Yo. Swear. Say less. Let's, Let's get you trying out for a G League team. Let's get T-Jazz in the gym, baby, for a whole month. There might be some throw up here. Three times. I'm dizzy. I'm so pissed off right now. My dad would kick my ass. <laughs> Guys, I messed up really bad. We're at the airport and I booked my flights for next month, not today. So, we have to switch our flight and we're gonna be in the airport for a little bit. It's hot as hell out here. Holy cow. I want you to put me through an NBA workout. Dude. Like, and just, like, as if I was an NBA player. I want to see if I could do it. Dope. So, whatever you got. So, I'm thinking, like, what we do with all of our pros, like, the first day with them, we put them through, like, a skills gauntlet. Okay. And it's all these different types of challenges. Finishing challenge. Uh, mid-range challenge, three-point challenge, okay. all these different areas. And this really tests fatigue, it tests your mental like skill aptitude, your mental ability to push through. So all in all, it'll take like 45 minutes to an hour, but okay. we do uh, like 90 second ball handling drill, seven minute finishing drill, uh, four minute three-point drill. Right. So something we do with everyone. So I have like the scores for like all the pros, like CJ McCollum has, or no, Zach Levine has the record for the four minute drill. Carmelo Anthony's like third, CJ McCollum second. Okay. Like, so it's all, all stuff so you get to like see exactly where you compare, compare yeah. to these leagues. Yeah. Alright guys, today we are here with NBA skills trainer Jordan Lolly. Yeah, yeah. And today I am gonna be going through a NBA workout. Yep. I don't, I don't know how to feel. I'm just, I'm ready to go. Let's get it, baby. I'm ready to go. What we got first? Tough one. We gotta stretch first. Stretch first. I like that. Nice and warmed up. You did bounce pass that time. Let's go in the air. <clears throat> okay. All right. Hit. Good. Good. Yeah. yeah. Talk. Don't wait to move. Come on. Let's go speed going, baby. Keep the speed active. Let's go. Jump, team. Jump, team. Hey. Yeah. Come on, boy. We're almost home. We're almost home. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Seconds. You have one crossover, one between the legs, 
one behind the back. Same thing the whole time? Same thing the whole time. Every time you get to the behind the back though, that's one. As many as you can. Cross between behind, three, four, five, six. Going all the way through 90 seconds. What's the record on this one? 180. Ready? Go! One, two, three, four. No, no, you gotta, come on, five, come on. Six, seven, you gotta take Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Keep it up, man. 16, 17, 18. That's that tempo. 20, come on, we need that. Three, 60, you gotta take Come on, man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, eight, one. You got a little bit of room to catch up to Chase though. Oh yeah, <laughs> definitely. Knock down three. Let's go one. Three. Right. Two. Finish it off three. Get up, girl. So we have a seven minute finishing series now. So for seven minutes, you have to try to get 140 uh, makes out of the seven minutes. So 140 out of 140. The first 20 makes that you do are going to be my hands. Here, finishing facing the baseline. Second 20, Mike is facing half court. Just open stance, give that a little nice touch off the backboard. Then we go 10 underhand scoops, finishing off the inside leg. 10 up with left hand, 10 on the other side with right hand. Then you have 10 overhand finishes. Once we do that, switch the sides. Then we have 10 side hand finishes around the restricted area. So right here, right around the restricted area. I expect you to get the record. What's the record? <laughs> Five minutes and 15 seconds. Right? Yep. Go. One. Two. Three. Get up, babe. Get up. Four. Five. Yeah, yeah. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ah. Seven. You got it. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Keep it up. Good rhythm. Good tempo. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Yeah, one. One here. Two. Yes, sir. Three. Four. Fifteen. Sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 19, 20, underhand, let's get it. Underhand off inside foot, yep. Yeah. One, two, good touch. Three, two. Three, and side hand finish up. Hey, switch, switch. One. Yes, homie. Yes, come on. Come on, get in, girl. Nine. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Eleven Woo. seconds left, baby. Let's go. What are we talking about, homie? Three throws. Three in a row. Yeah. You got it in. 649. Solid one. Real solid. And a lot of times, like the first time is the toughest because yeah. it's all fresh, it's all new. Like once you get more consistent with it, then you know the routine, you know what to expect. So the scores start trimming down. But it's a really good uh, good first good first score for the seven minute drill. There are a lot of NBA guys that didn't beat it on the first time. Really? Yeah. That's so very impressive. So you make five, make the other side five. Switch. Switch, okay. going back and forth. So first five, speed stop, just rip into space, stop body, inside, outside. Pop, pop. Going behind the back when you do oh, so. Oh, behind the back, so. Yep. Yep, quick pop, quick stop. Hit it.
One. One, bad. Two. There we go. Catch up. Four. Stay up. Five. Under drag. Stay, stay, stay. Three. Stay up. Get in, girl. Four. Fight through it, baby. Fight through it. Yeah, yeah. Keep it up, team. Keep it up, team. Catch up. Big up. Come on. Seven minutes right now. 38. 39. 40. Catch it. Give me 10 in a row, team. One. Give me 10 in a row, baby. That's two. Keep it up, team. Three. Four. Forty-five. There you go. Forty-six. Come on, baby. Come on. Forty-seven. Talk to me. Let's go, team. Forty-eight, baby. Knock it. Knock it. Forty-nine. Come on. Round it off, team. Yes. Get to the corner. There you go. Push right. One. Time. Work, homie. 42 out of 50. It's tough. It's tough, baby. Come on. You felt the base though getting super thin oh, yeah. and weak. I wasn't oh. jumping enough. You weren't jumping. I, I felt my legs give out. My arms. Yep. So it's gonna put a lot of stress on those arms. And the first thing that goes is actually our direction. So imagine that your elbow and your wrist are like a steering wheel for your shot. Yeah. If you play upright and you put all the stress in the arms, then that's gonna be more prone to pushing and pulling the basketball. So that steering wheel is gonna be moving off to the side. Work. Got it, make the adjustment. Don't guide it, shoot it. Seven, good adjustment. Good I like working out, I don't, I don't do this. Yeah. Like I don't work out. I don't play horse. This will take the game to the next level if we start doing this all the time. Do it. I'll tell you that. And it's, it's nice too, because from whatever we do here, we usually get a great assessment for like our NBA guys on areas of development that they need to work on for yeah. that year. Now, the, also with like our NBA cats, like we focus on every video, every game, or sorry, every game that they had, have had or played that mm -hmm. season prior. So going into the off season, we know exactly what our clear cut process was gonna be like. So far through this workout, this is pretty intense, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, there's really nothing to say, you know, I go through these workouts and it's like, this is what NBA people are doing. I gotta, I gotta start doing this. Is this my third water bottle? No. We're pounding the water. Higher elevation out here. Where's sea level, bro? Wait, I thought it's higher than Wisconsin. Is it higher than Wisconsin? Dude. No. I'm tweaking. I thought we were in Colorado. Yo. <laughs> this workout got me mind blown, bro.